All right, next in section 9.1, we're going to talk about vectors. And uh, for me, you know, those, those words in red are the most important thing to remember about vectors. A vector has magnitude and direction. Think anytime you hear the word vector, you should think magnitude and direction. We use vectors in, uh, in physics to basically explain mathematically things like force, velocity, acceleration. We use the vector to show uh, the length of the vector. The length of the vector gives us the magnitude, and the direction is also the arrow. The arrow on the vector gives us a direction. So if we say that uh, point F is the starting point and point G is the ending point, then we, we call this vector FG, and, and this is the symbol. The FG with the uh, almost looks like a little line is half of a line, a little arrow over the top of the FG is the symbolism for vector FG. And F is our starting point, G is our ending point. Well, we can get the magnitude of the vector by using the Pythagorean theorem. Our horizontal change in this problem is positive 5. From F, we go 5 to the right. Our vertical change is 3. We're going up 3 from point F. So we can then use the Pythagorean theorem, 5 squared plus 3 squared, and take the square root of that, and that would be the magnitude of the vector. The direction is also a slope. Vertical change over horizontal change. So the component form of a vector has delta x comma delta y. Delta x in this case is 5, delta y is 3. This gives us the direction. The direction here, because it's positive, positive, we know that we be, if we were starting at the origin, we would know that we would be going up into the first quadrant. Now, I didn't start this vector at the origin because you can start it anywhere, but I like to think of the problems uh, with, the, with them all starting at the origin because it's easier to then talk about what the direction is. So, vectors have magnitude and direction, and component form is this not quite a, a parentheses and not quite a bracket. It almost looks like a, a less than symbol and a greater than symbol, but it's just the way we communicate that this is a vector, and 5 is delta x, and 3 is delta y.